everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts and welcome. So what I want to work on today with you guys is just a quick junk journal project that you can add into your junk journals. So what you're going to need, the main thing is just a piece of copy paper. Just some copy paper. Easy as that. So you're, that's the basic thing that you're going to need. And then I will bring you guys down closer to the table here. And then I will show you guys some fun things that we can incorporate into it. So let's move to the table. That is my copy paper. Okay. Got my silicone mat down. I have a crocodile and then the eyelets. I have some stencils that I want to play with. So just whatever stencils you guys have and just get different ones. And it's just going to be a fun little play that we're going to do play around. We got that. Um, I got my 3D paint, which just little puff paints or, you know, whatever you guys have, just, you don't even have to use these, but those are just some fun things I want to play with. Some distressed oxides. I have black. I have the crackling campfire, vintage photo and walnut stain, and then some blending tools. Okay. Ritz box. This is just something, anything, a cereal box, anything. I just went into my pantry and cut off the Ritz box. You just need a little one. I mean, you don't need too big and some fun decorative stuff, anything that you got. Uh, I showed you guys how to make these fun little uh, slow stitch buttons, like little fun things. I'll put that on the end screen if you guys want to come check them out. So I got that and then just some, I don't know, some butterflies some just some fun little frilly coffee dyed things that you have, some laces, stuff like that. Okay. So those are the basics. That's what I have around me right now. And what I'm going to start off doing is, so this is just a fun little thing you can come in and do and put into your junk journal. So I'm just going to start off and this is just going to be random here. Let's start with the Browns. So just whatever stencil, <clears throat> excuse me, whatever stencil you grab, just take your Dollar, daubers, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be straight. You can just go like this. And we're just going to start inking here or oxiding. <laughs> so, hopefully, I'm not shaking everybody here, but I'm just taking it. And even if it moves, it doesn't even matter. Don't think about it too much. And the darker and lighter is going to be great. Pick it. Okay. I'm going to keep doing that and then just grab another one. It doesn't matter. You could get any kind of decorative, uh, any background ones, uh, just however you want to do this. You can make this into a fun modge podge of stencils here. And then you can just grab another one here and just get a different color. And we'll just roll in that stain. Let's do a little darker brown. So you can see this is just what I'm doing here. It's just Layering it up pretty much with stencils here. I'm going to do this in a time lapse, and that's all I'm doing is just grabbing one, grabbing another one, you know, doing it a different spot. Just do sections of it if you want. Or you want to do this. Okay. And then we can switch over. Let's do some crackling campfire. So I'm just going to continue. Meet with, up with you guys when it's all finished. Okay, so I think that turned out great. So just do like a fun little just collage with your stencils. Get them all different, different colors, whatever colors you guys have, inks, oxides, anything like that. Okay. 
now what I want to do I want to take it and I'm just grabbing this just to have something to trace around. But if you don't have a tag, that's why you grab a Ritz box, right? And we're just going to this. You can make this as big as you want. What I'm going to do. Pencil. Here we have tags somewhere around our craft rooms. And this is just a great way to use up some of your cereal boxes, you know, any kind of cardboard you have laying around so then it doesn't get thrown in the landfill, you know. Or if you recycle it, that is great. But this is a fun way to recycle it. <laughs> All right. So I'm just showing you guys the basics here of what you could do. And um, it's just really easy. Super fun. Well, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to use my glue stick for this. What I'm going to do is just kind of find a spot that I like. And there's so many, right? You know, maybe don't look like this. Because you could do this with a bunch of them. Just have them lined up. I can just glue it down. And you can use whatever glue you want. For time's sake here, I'm just going to use my glue stick. The Elmer's glue stick. I have my sewing mat underneath. I'm trying not to get it smudged, but that's why I put the silicone mat down. In the process of doing some sewing projects, and I didn't really want to move my mat off, so I'm trying to be careful here. And then the fun thing is, is that you can, if you want to, it's not optional, of course, sew around the edges like this. One side. It, this is just so fun to make. Side of it. And depending on your cardboard or whatever piece that you cut out, if it was like mine was kind of ripped, so that's why I wanted to cover it. But if not, you could have just the cardboard on the back for a journaling card or you know anything to do some journaling on. But what I'm going to do is glue this down and then it'll still be able to write on the back of it. All we did is just a little bit of oxide. This dries clear, the purple. <laughs> It'll dry. Uh, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a master board, and you don't know where you're putting it and what it's going to look like until you flip it over. It's kind of fun. There we go. Now I like both sides. So then you decide which side you want to be the front and which side you want to be the back. And like I said, you could do a zigzag stitch around, especially if you used a glue stick or something. But if not, I got, you know, Fabric Fix glue or art glitter glue works great. Just be careful because it'll br bring lines up through it. So you might want to finger press it before you put down the paper. Okay, so we got this. And I think we're going to do this side for the front. Oh, before we do this, I wanted to find just a little dragonfly right here. And I'm going to use my black soot for that. Make that one pop a little bit. Okay. 
And if you want, that could be totally your focal point, just like that. Okay. If not, you can go ahead and take, you know, something fun and have this added to it or make your own. Let me have a little place here. Make like something totally different. Go into the front. That make your own little flower top and just maybe slow stitch it together and then just put like a button in the middle. Uh, you know, have some of this behind it and a little flower on top. Do the same here. Just look through your, you know, I mean, look at that. That would make it really pretty. Around and sew it together and you can make like a cool flower shape. Yeah, like this is really neat grass. I think that we find it's cool. Some grass down here at the bottom. Oh, that's kind of fun. So just look through, see what you got. I mean, you got, I'm sure you guys got bins and bins of coffee dyed, rip dyed stuff. You just decorate with. Let's keep it on top. Okay. Make that your focal point. You can add some more fun things to it. Like that. Gold here. Laces or anything you have, some fun fabrics. I just made a Ritz box and a copy paper into a fun little tag here. Just get the edges if you want. I should get my dauber for that. I think this does a better job. There we go. Around. Grunge this up a little bit. There we go. And if you want, you know, you can glue something here. sewing around do some interest stuff and yeah so i just wanted to pop on real quick today and show you guys i mean like even some of this this could be the stem you know like say you don't have that focal point you can put this here and have this butterflies as a stem coming down so different things like that and then we got our fun puff paints take your puff paints right down Wherever you want. And these are very addicting once you start puff painting everything. Stop. It just adds a little bit more character to everything. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.